In 2006, it was theorized that Professor McGonagall was actually a Death Eater. Considering her age, McGonagall and Tom Riddle could have met as students at Hogwarts. The fact that she teaches transfiguration and can shapeshift is a sign that she is manipulative and untrustworthy. She puts Harry on the Quidditch team as a first year, even though it's a very dangerous sport, gives him detention in the Forbidden Forest where Voldemort is lurking, and discourages the trio from protecting the Sorcerer's Stone. After Dumbledore's death, McGonagall immediately wants to interrogate Harry about the mission Dumbledore gave him. Why didn't Dumbledore trust her with this information? That's insane. Like, there's no way she's a Death Eater. Like, it's not that she's evil. It's more that she's protective of Harry. Like, I guess she sort of becomes, like, his family and is, like, has, like, a mother instinct over humans. Like, you know, what's Dumbledore told you? Like, and why didn't he tell me? And it's sort of like, why did he choose Harry? And I think it's more of, like, her protective instinct more than her trying to be, like, evil and get all the stuff from Harry to give to Voldemort. Uh, this would be quite a twist. Uh, so the initial reaction, um, this is kind of wild, but like I, I can also, it's not, I can kind of see where this is coming from, even though my initial thoughts were like, absolutely not, no way, like, it's McGonagall, you can't do that to McGonagall. Her questioning Harry after Dumbledore's death, because yeah, why didn't Dumbledore trust her enough? I mean, my counter argument to that would have been, Dumbledore is a quixotic, you know, sp spooky, mysterious guy who keeps things, plays things close to the chest all the time, so. Yeah, that makes sense, the idea that, oh, it's who you least expect, that there's going to be this twist. Um, I could see that happening, uh, and th the points made about, like, how she keeps putting them in danger, that makes sense, although, I mean, I think a lot of that, too, of telling them not to protect the Sorcerer's Stone is her being, like, you're a bunch of 11-year-olds, like, what do you think you're doing? You know, probably the, the she teaches transfiguration. I didn't find that inherently untrustworthy. And just because she shape like goes into it like her cat, like that doesn't mean anything. That's insane. Like Would I have liked this theory to come true? That you know, no. I Brogonagal is is the broiest. I, I you know, I would not have wanted this theory to come true. Absolutely not. I would have been heartbroken. McGonagall is awesome. That would have been too much. 